Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and as you saw in the thumbnail, Kyosha's got new stuff coming, like they always do. So this is really cool, I'm excited. So let's just jump right into this thing. As you can see here too, I got Kyosho cars already. This is a, this is a 10 scale garage, so I showed the picture on the on the website. So yeah, definitely dig their, their cars and everything. So I'm gonna skim over these cars, and then you can kind of look at them yourself. I'll put links down in the description below for all these cars. There's some other ones I'm probably I'm gonna leave out just because I haven't gotten all the information as of yet. And these prices can be uh, they're subject to change as far as just based on when they're gonna come out, how much they're asking for it. So as of right now these are the prices so we'll see how that all kind of works out all right so 110 scale supra really cool like it uh the dodge demon or the dodge hellcat sorry i love this car i'll be getting that one that's without a doubt on that one uh these mini z's i had the the mini z just new colors so they uh i don't have the other color on the website as of yet but it's a blue and black one but this had the yellow and the black looks really good but like I said, I have the orange and black one. Love that body. So really good looking C7. Uh, the AMG or the Mercedes AMG GT3. I have this one, different livery, uh, which would be the gray one. Looks good. So this one, without a doubt, looks good as well. And now, finally, Kyosho, man, we finally get this. Is uh, the Hellcat Red Eye. I was waiting for you to bring in a little muscle car. Another muscle car because you already have the Corvette. Um, so you have the Corvette, you got the Camaro, so I'm glad that you guys rolled the Demon out. I keep saying Demon, I'm just used to saying that one, but the Hellcat Red Eye, so I like it. That green and black, and then they also do have it in this Destroyer Gray, if you guys are a fan of that one, but I do like the green, so I'm a little bit more favored on that one as far as I like that one more. Um, now when it comes to the uh, Toyota Mini Z, it looks, I'm not 100% sure, because I don't, I don't follow this one as much. I do have the Jeep of this platform. But I didn't have the Toyota 4Runner, so just kind of, I think that luggage rack or whatnot you want to, that's on top of it is new, and obviously the paint scheme and, and things like that. So we'll get into that one. And then also taking pre-orders on the Pontiac GTO. This is a 110 scale, as it shows right there. All right, and then also as far as the, the Mad Van. Now this one, they had the Mad Van before, but this one is uh, brushless. So this thing's gonna be a little ripper for sure, because the brush one was pretty quick, just based on just being brushed. But I like that one, and um, I saw that one uh, ripping around, so I was pretty impressed with the brushed version of it. So this one shouldn't uh, disappoint anyway. So looks cool, I like it. So we're taking pre-orders on that one. They only have a few left of both of these, so I appreciate all you guys that have gone over to our website omgrc.com. Check these out and pre-ordered your one. Um, so, uh, speaking of pre-orders, ETAs as far as the estimated time of arrival, we were told somewhere around in June for these. So, it may it may be extended. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to kind of wait and see. It's along with all these other ones too. I don't know. I'm going to say these are probably going to come out August as far as these cars go. You know, it's... I would say somewhere right around there. It could be a little bit later. It could be a little bit sooner. We'll just have to kind of wait and see, and I'll update you guys. If I do have any more information, I go live typically on a Friday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if I do have any more information, then I would go ahead and pass that along at that time. So definitely want to check us out and uh, click that notification bell so that way you know when we go live or if we post any new videos. So appreciate that one. All right, so let's kind of skim over these a little bit. This is a drift Supra. So you can put, you know, regular hard rubber tire or <laughs> rubber tires on there and uh, make this thing, you know, run on the streets just fine instead of just sliding all around. Um, I'm a big fan of this radio. I love it. I like just all the adjustability that's right there. It fits nice in the hand. It doesn't feel cheesy or anything like that. I like it. I like the little rubber grip that's on there. So it's been one of my go to radios. I like it. Um, Brushed motor, you know, it's going to be the standard uh, setup that's in here. Plastic drive shaft. Those are things that you want to upgrade later down the road if you wanted to, if you decide to add a little bit more power to it. You know, swapping out that brushed motor for something a little bit faster. Uh, the electronic speed controller can only handle a brushed motor, and it shows it can handle two or three S lipo. So, uh, with that being said, the motor itself, the brush motor, it can only handle a 2S LiPo. So if you're looking to get more speed out of it, if you put it on a 3S, you're going to burn your motor up. 
it's going to rip pretty good because I've done it, but it's going to burn up. So just let you guys know on that one. All right. Other than that, it, I'll let you guys kind of check it all out. Really cool. Love it. I like the, the calipers and the rotors there. It looks really cool. I like this setup. It's great. I do like as far as the gear meshing here, just so you can kind of mesh your, your gears up. You just plop them in different holes based on the actual pinion gear that you have. This thing can go up to like a 37 tooth pinion gear. So stock, it's a 32. So if you're looking to get a little bit more speed out of the car, just bone stock, you could up, uh, increase that pinion gear. Just kind of keep in mind, you do put more strain on the motor. So there's your plastic hard tires. So for you sliding around, I like it. All right, let's skip over to the other guy. Here is the, the Hellcat. So same platform as far as the chassis goes and everything like that, but just that body itself looks sick. I love it. So it will definitely be one I will get because I'm missing that purple one. So um, yeah, really nice ultra scale body for sure. You can put LEDs in it. it does not come with LEDs in the car, but uh, you can put them. I believe it. I don't know if this one has rear LEDs that you can stick in there, but the front LED you can put lights up in the front. That I'm, uh, I'm sure of. So yeah, there you go. But not included as far as those LED lights. Looks sick. I like it. All right, let's jump over to some of these uh, the mini Z's. So I'm gonna skim over these a little bit quicker. As far as when it comes to I'm looking at my time as far as on it. Um, so like I said before on this one, this is rear wheel drive. And I'll update this stuff a little bit more as we get a little bit closer to it all. I do have these on already on a pre-order from Kyosho. It's just that um, I'm not 100% sure when they're going to be coming out exactly. I'm going to say it's again probably July or so. But everything gets shifted around so much. So if you're looking to get one of these, things are really cool. You know, obviously it's ideal to have a track or something. So you don't just run it on... Um, on your floor you know don't run on carpet so much but if you run on a nice flat smooth surface then it's pretty cool now uh, we do offer some tracks so if you're looking to get a track you can always hit us up we do have them um but yeah, yeah rear wheel drive it's cool the right, only thing that you need to these are kind of nice is because you just need eight double or i'm sorry eight triple a batteries and ideally you want to get rechargeable batteries for this so uh you know, if you want to join our live stream, if you have questions in regards to the mini Z's, I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, just kind of like the basic stuff. So really nice. I'm digging it. I like the C7. Looks cool. So you got some adjustability. You can uh, you can widen the car. You can lengthen it a little bit to accommodate different bodies. Not all bodies that Kyosho does have uh, for sale will fit, but uh, you just got to find out which ones will fit and which ones don't. All right, like this AMG body things i love it thing looks good the mercedes looks good anyway as far as this uh, amg gt3 it's just a sick looking by the they knocked it out of the park with this um yeah i've seen these on the road a little bit i've done a video and uh not like this kind of all the racing type real car but just your stock one and they look amazing so again with this one rear wheel drive eight triple a batteries that'll get you going and then ideally you want to get rechargeable ones so that way you don't keep going through regular batteries and just killing your budget. As far as it's just nicer to have just rechargeable because they'll last for, for me, they've lasted, if you keep it in your training mode, they'll last for a few hours as far as just rechargeable batteries. And then out of training mode, I think you probably get like 45 minutes, an hour, depends on how you drive. And now, okay, this thing's all wheel drive. Um, I was like a little bit confused to why they might have done this but then on also is because i think their lineup of all-wheel drive mini z's there's not a lot of different all-wheel drive mini z's so they made this one all-wheel drive so it's not just rear wheel drive so it's going to handle really well that's for sure you'll be able to put the power down and i think it just opens up for them to you know other cars to race so that they start expanding their uh bodies and things like that when it comes to being able to do an all-wheel drive car i don't know at first i was like man why do they make this thing all-wheel drive this is a rear-wheel drive car they're usually pretty good on getting it right but uh in this case here no but i mean they're old they're muscle cars obviously the 10 scale stuff it's all-wheel drive so you know it is what it is so i like it all-wheel drive the, the body looks amazing 
I love these things. Sick. And uh, again, like this one. Anyway, it's all-wheel drive for, I'm sorry, eight AAA batteries for this thing. Again, really cool. So I'm excited. This thing is Gymkhana. Make it Gymkhana. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, what the heck are they talking about? Yeah, this thing is nice. Now, when you get these vehicles from the get-go, these things are in training mode. So um, to get out of the training mode, it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is just hold, uh, turn your car, turn your uh, radio off, pull the trigger all the way back, turn the power on, and then it takes the car out of training mode, which means it's going to go faster. Because by default, it's in training mode. So if you want to go back to training mode, it's pretty simple. All you do is make it like you were going to make the car go in reverse. You just turn the radio off first, put it in reverse as far as your trigger, and then turn the car, or I'm sorry, the radio back on. And then it'll just put it into the training mode again. So pretty quick and simple to do. I like it. And it's nice, especially when you're just learning, because these things zip around. Even in training mode, you're like, whoa, you got lots of focus. You got to do on this thing. All right, now, I know this is a little bit longer video, but hey, these things are awesome and want to kind of go over them. Again, just different color, but same underneath, all-wheel drive. So, yeah, man, these things are pretty cool. It does have, a, like, um, I think it's like a, a bright green that's here as far as the lip, the front lip. So, looks good. Now, the Mini Z, just the Toyota 4Runner. Um, I have the Jeep. It's actually it works pretty good. It comes with like six different gears that you can stick in this thing, meaning that you can increase your speed, you can slow it down, whatever. So if you, by default or just out of the box, it's kind of like in between. So if you want to make it quicker, you can definitely put a bigger gear in there and make this thing a little bit faster if you want to kind of move around. So it's nice. I believe you can put LEDs in this thing if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not 100% sure. But I could have sworn you could. Anyway, pretty cool. I did a video on the Jeep Wrangler, Rubicon, whatever, Ultimate or something, whatever it is. And uh, that was really cool. I liked it. So I like them to put a little bit better on the tires, just a little bit, you know, a little bit more grip there. So, but anyway, that's that. So, yeah, definitely check us out, omgrc.com. Again, we got the Pontiac GTO. So those are going to be right around the corner here very soon. Again, we, I'm guessing, again, from uh, Kyosho, my rep here in America, uh, they said sometime in June. So that can always move around a little bit. So just kind of keep, that's why I don't, I just do pre-orders now. Just as pre-order is really typically not going to show you a date, but I did put a date in there because a lot of, I've had people asking like daily a couple times, like, hey, when's the Mad Van coming? I'm like, ah, I'm guessing June is what they were telling me, but there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, definitely check us out, omgrc.com. We'll take pre-orders on these as we get closer. I've already back-ordered some of these cars. Some of these cars I'm going to definitely get for myself because, Kyosho, you guys do an awesome job when it comes to making these vehicles, making them look really nice. So thank you, and thank you to everyone that watched. You guys take care, and we'll see you again real soon. Check us out on Fridays. OMGRC will be live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Talk about RC stuff. Just hang out. All that good fun stuff. You guys take care. Later. Peace.